Mary Canaz in the appropriate context, comprising of Martin Wolfart and Ben Badenhorst, bring a new sound and genre to the Gramstown Festival this year, blending jazz, soul folk and eastern music into something which sounds both natural and highly original. Canaz grew up in Usenhaeg in the Eastern Cape and is at the forefront of locally produced talents performing at the festival this year. Reviewers have called her a goddess and someone who is connected to nature. Her original self-taught style defines the band genre. Think of it as smart pop. Yeah. So it's accessible music, but there's a lot more depth to it than yes. the average. Music uh, can be accessible. We pop, believe you know? that music can be accessible and intelligent simultaneously. And there's lots yeah. of examples, but very few of them get airplay, hmm. which is sad. And uh, it's nice to bring in something different and get in a different perspective, and not just stay with what I do to kind of open it up to to something bigger. It started not from re really musical influences um, and maybe that's where an originality might come from because I really started writing music as a form of a diary, um, making sense of the world and, and I suppose everything I listened to at the time influenced the music but I, I wasn't going out to try and create a sound, to try and create anything, it was just kind of flowing out of it. Success in the South African music scene is normally defined by a band's commercial value. However, Kanaz believes otherwise. I think there's a lot of people that are hungry for something that's a, a little bit more real and a little bit more, um, in, allows you to be a little bit more involved, asks you to listen to the lyrics, asks you to think about your own life. There's not a lot of that in South Africa at the moment. Um, we've had some artists in the past, but it's, there's just a lot of artists trying to be the next famous band and, and trying to rock out on a crowd. And um, what I am trying to do is do that, give, give the music, a, a, you know, allow people to groove to it and to enjoy the rhythm of it, but also think a little bit deeper, you know, help stimulate your own train of thought about where you want to go as a person in your life, you know, who you want to be. Being a part of the Eastern Cape Showcase at the festival this year, the band gives their assessment of this province's ability to continue producing talents like Mary Canaz. The greatest musicians in this country's history have emerged from the Eastern Cape. Okay? And yet, how many of those names does the average person know? There's not a lot of venues like in the Eastern places. Cape. There's, There's not, not a lot, a lot, of, lot of places for people to actually mm. be exactly. seen. So be I noticed. think there's an enormous amount of talent. Marcus Wyatt, he's, a, he's from the Eastern Cape. Um, Mary Canaz, I don't know if you've heard of her. She's from it. So it's all these great, like new emerging talents. And I think what Mary says, venues is very important because that's where artists start. They yeah. have to have venues. And, um, and the industry is extremely closed minded. Somehow it needs to be opened up a little more. The band believes that the Grahamstown Festival is a good platform for showing off local talent. Well, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a great festival, yeah. it's a great place to get showcased to a national audience. There's a lot of eyes from around the country and from around the world. Kanaz is a shining example of the talent the Eastern Cape can develop.